Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays Confection in Tallahassee, Florida, where we make hard candy. Today we're going to make some custom image candy for a local group called Word of South. It's a literary and music event in Tallahassee, Florida. We've heated our sugar solution to 310 degrees, and we've already added our raspberry flavoring into the pot for this batch. The candy is poured on our candy cooling table, which is a 2,000 pound steel table, which is designed to cool the candy rapidly. It has a water-filled core. The candy will be colored pink and black, and we add the food coloring to the hot sugar so we can boil out all the water that's in the food coloring. If you look carefully, you can see the steam rising as the food coloring gets rid of the water. And of course, water, if it's left in candy, makes candy sticky. The candy is cooled enough so that we can add the citric acid so that it won't burn. The citric acid gives it a little sour that makes a raspberry taste like a raspberry and makes the candy taste so good. Then all we have to do is cut up the color palette we're going to be working with and uh, make our candy. As I let gravity do its work here, the hot sugar pours out from the cool sugar. The sugar that's been in contact with the candy table and the bars is now quite cool, but the center is phenomenally hot, and I've got to even it all out by folding the candy backwards and forwards, or we'll end up with cold spots and hot spots, and, well, that makes it hard to work with. We make our candy in front of the public in our store, Lofty Pursuits in Tallahassee, Florida. If you ever make it by Tallahassee, you can always come and see us. We might be making candy when you come by. And if you can't see us, you can always get our candy at www.pd.net. And of course, this shows we do custom orders too. Our palette is pink, white, and black. But there's no white. We do have amber, but we've got to make it white. And we do that by pulling it on our candy hook, folding it over dozens and dozens of times so that it captures air bubbles, reflects light, and looks white when we're done. Word of South is a festival of literature and music which has been held for several years here in Tallahassee in our beautiful Cascades Park. This year's event, like all the others, is a unique blend of writers and musicians exploring the relationships between art, writing, and music. And I like to think that our candy can be a kind of crossroads here of art, of culinary delights, and in this case, a tiny bit of writing. They commissioned us with this piece to put three letters in the candy, the letter W, the letter O, and the letter S for Word of South. We make the candy in such a way that the cross section of the candy contains the letters. In this case, we're gonna start with the letter W, building it up out of a couple of triangles of white and a sheet of black. Letters are hard to do and are easy to install backwards, unfortunately. This is actually my second batch of the day. In the first batch, I put the letter S in backwards, and, well, we have some more f candy for our Damophino mix. Fortunately, the letter O is pretty easy to make, except you have to get the wrap perfectly. If you don't get the seams to meet just right, there's a lump on one side of the O that just sort of twists through the candy and never looks right. And lastly goes the letter S. 
As I said, this letter was fighting me today, but it came out pretty good at the end of this batch. The letters are built and all I have left to do is make the wrap. Normally two people do this, but since we've been so busy lately, it's been more efficient if one person does the entire batch and somebody else comes in later for another shift. I'm sorry if your orders have been a little late. We're working as hard as we can. Now we pull the logs into rods and we cut the rods and cool them by keeping them rolling. If we don't keep them rolling, they'll go very, very flat. You see, this candy is still behaving like a non-Newtonian fluid. In other words, when pressure is on it, it works like a solid. So if I keep it rolling, it will behave like a solid and not flatten out. But if I leave it alone, it will go flat pretty quickly and distort the shape and in this case the letters. And of course, I'm trying to avoid doing that and it's a little hard to do when I'm trying to do three things at once. Pull the candy, cut the candy, and roll the candy. All that's left is for us to cut the rods into pieces. And this goes pretty quickly. Now, truthfully, in some of our videos, and in this video too, we speed up bits of it. It makes the video go a little smoother and a little faster, we think. But we don't have to speed up the candy cutting. This is the speed it goes. And I'm asked from time to time, how do you do it so fast? And the answer may surprise you. It's really hard to do slow. It's easier to do fast. It may be hard to learn how to do it fast. But the pieces cut better and the whole thing works better. And while a lot of candy making is a whole lot of fun, I really can't say that cutting the candy is much more than monotonous after a while. So getting it out of the way is a good thing. We hope you enjoyed our video. You can always buy our candy if you're interested at www.pd.net. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. We'd love that. If you'd like to, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're ever in Tallahassee, we'd love to see you in person. And perhaps if you come at the right time, you can see us make candy in person. Once again, thank you for watching. If you'd like to find out more information about the event, Word of South, we got a link hiding just down below this video in the description. I really hate I got the first batch wrong. With the S backwards, it kind of says Waz. Now I have Waz candy. Hey, Steve, if you're listening, I got Waz candy. Give me a call. I'll send it to you.